Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a vlog. Thank you for tuning in to another video. And based on the title of this video, you guys know I have something very interesting planned for you guys today. I'm finally taking on my very first GNCC. This is something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. The only other woods race I've ever done was kind of a disaster. It was a hair scramble down in Florida. So it was basically just in a giant open field. It hadn't rained for like three months. It was like 99 degrees out and 95% humidity. So it was absolutely, it was just the worst experience I've ever had on a motorcycle. That kind of turned me off of off-roads racing and that's why I haven't done it in a while, but I've heard from multiple people and a bunch of good sources that Ironman is one of the best GNCCs or just best off-road races that you can do. Let me clean this off real quick. Um, and it's only like four hours from my house. So I figured it would be rude not to. I actually signed up to do this race last year in the 250 Pro class because I had my 250 race bike from the Pro Nationals. I even got like green backgrounds for it and everything. Like if I have a picture, I'll put it up on the screen. You guys can see how funny it looks. Um, and then like the night before we were gonna leave, I saw the forecast and if you guys were at the race or saw video footage from it, you will know it was an absolute monsoon. Um, and I said, yeah, no. If I had like a practice 250 or if I had a fresh 250, I might have just sent it anyways, but that race bike had like 10 pro nationals on it and I was like, mm, maybe not a good idea to put that through three hours of mud. So I decided to call it. I think it was a good move, but um, I figured this year we're just gonna freaking send it, baby. Unfortunately, I decided to send it very, very last minute. So for reference, it is Saturday morning right now. The race is tomorrow morning and um, you can see we don't have anything ready to go yet. I mean, I guess the bike is like pretty solid and ready to go, but no hand guards, no oversized gas tank, all that sort of thing. And being that I just decided to do this last night uh, while I was laying in bed, I actually was so late that they didn't have pre-reg open anymore. So I'm not even signed up, but we are gonna load up the bike and head over to the Ironman GNCC and phew, I'm excited, man. But yeah, as I said, extremely underprepared. Um, the normal, typical things that you would see people put on a GNCC bike, I do not have. Um, we're running no hand guards, first of all. So we're gonna be banging our knuckles off some trees. That'll be great. Uh, we have the regular, not oversized tank. So I'm not really sure. I mean, I've never done more than 35 minutes, so I don't really know how long that's gonna last. Um, it's a two hour race, so maybe we'll do like two fill ups. I'm not really sure if that's gonna hinder me at all and affects or affect the results negatively, but we're just gonna send it. We do have the P3 carbon skid plate, so at least we're protected from the rot roots and rocks and whatnot. Uh, and you know, whatever else we find out on the trail, I don't know, there's some river crossings and stuff, so at least we're P3 protected, love that. Um, suspension though, you know, everyone says you need to soften your suspension for the woods. Uh, we clearly don't have time to do that. So I'm just running my pro national race setup. Um, it's the exact same suspension setup that I raced at Ironman. Ironically, um, the Ironman pro national was the last time I raced this bike and the suspension setup is going to be exactly the same as the pro national. So it's gonna be a full on moto experience, but Screw it, I'm down. However, there is one upgrade that I am going to do to this bike that I think is probably like the number one upgrade that I would do to a woods bike, and that is upgrading to a much stronger anti-gravity battery. Um, if you guys are not aware, GNCCs are dead engine starts. So there's a guy with a flag, and as soon as he waves his flag, you hit the start button and then go. Um, all this other stuff is all stuff that I can like compensate for in my riding when I'm out on the trail. You know, with stiffer suspension, I'll just avoid some roots and rocks. No hand guards, I'll avoid trees. But one thing I can't compensate for in my riding is if I get a terrible start. There's like 80 people per start and there's only like a quarter mile before you get to the woods. Um, so if I start 69th, that's gonna be a terrible time. I need to start like in the top 10 if I want any hopes of having any sort of fun or a good result. So the stock battery can be a little bit weak. Sometimes it doesn't always start on the first press of the button. Well, luckily I have this dope little care package from Anti-Gravity Batteries with one of their lithium ion like high power batteries. So that should help uh, this thing start up way quicker and hopefully will get me off to a much better start. So, so I'm gonna do a little install on this unit and that is the single upgrade we're doing to this bike to get it ready for my very first GNCC. I wouldn't want it any other way, okay? I want people to know when I'm on the gate that I am a freaking moto racer. I'm gonna hold it down for the pro moto boys and we're just gonna see what we can do. So let's get a little install on this. Um, I'll show you guys like the difference between how quickly it starts up 
and uh, then we'll hit the road because we want to get there before dark today so that we can kind of check out the track and uh, get signed up. So let's do a quick install and hit the freaking road. My goodness I knew it was gonna be better I didn't know it was gonna be that much better that it was probably a quarter or a fifth the time that it took to start with the stock battery so I think this is gonna be the one upgrade that we definitely need stoked um, to have anti-gravity battery on board this thing um, and shoot I'm gonna put it on all my bikes moving forward so that's sick um, nothing more to do really other than just put a clean air filter in it and freaking hit the road. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, I will see you guys at the race. <laughs> see. Break 95, because somebody had 841. I have no idea what we're doing here. Where are we? Iron Man Chan CC, we're out of our element, fish out of water right now. Just got done softening all the clickers on my bike. I don't know, I feel like I need to tape up the hands or something. Yeah, I can still go try to find some uh, hand guards. <laughs> nah. We want the people to know that we don't know what we're doing and that's perfectly fine. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's filled to the very tippy top. Tippy top. All right, let's do it. Let's do it.
two hours. Dry, dusty. I aged probably eight times on the first lap. Yeah, I see we uh, broke off the uh, mount for the camera. So if any of you found it out there, I'll send you my address. <laughs> Did you crash any other times, other laps? No, I crashed like eight times on the first lap and then I didn't crash again after that. <laughs> I learned my lesson. Well, this thing went about almost 70 minutes on a tank. I was just going to throw a splash in there. I was afraid you'd run out between here and there. We had a quarter mile until we were done. I know. I, I was surprised you made it all the way to there. Oh, my goodness gracious. Can you get it on the stand? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I'm not that tired. Just my hands are destroyed. Yeah, they bleeding. Actually, I guess they don't look that bad. They hurt though. Yeah, this is like doing four 30 minute motos back to back. Bike uh, doesn't look too beat up. Suspension, way too stiff. No, I'm sure. Way too stiff. Yeah, you want it riding low. <laughs> Hardly even needs to be washed. Ready for round two. Ah. All right, guys, that is a wrap on my very first GNCC experience. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, after that race I was absolutely smoked and all I wanted to do was load up and sleep on the drive home. So uh, yeah, sorry we didn't film too much while we were at the track. Um, this was obviously like a postseason race, uh, just something fun for me and my dad to go do. Super last minute like I said. So. Uh, we were just prioritizing having fun and kind of taking in the experience um, and I was really relying on the chess cam footage for the vlog and sadly I don't I can't remember if I said it already but in one of my many crashes on the first lap um, the mount like the plastic J hook mount that I attached to my chest protector snapped off um, so I lost it it is somewhere out there in the silt it is 100% part of the Ironman national track now so in the off chance that someone finds it and sees this video it'd be sick if I could get that back um, it'd be a pretty funny video I can just picture the title now I crashed seven times in one lap uh, because that's exactly what happened but yeah the race itself was actually an absolute blast um, I was legitimately more nervous for this race than I was for a pro national just because it's something completely new I didn't want to make a fool of myself and I knew I was super unprepared but honestly if anything this just goes to show you that no matter what your setup is or your skill level or anything like that you can go out and have fun at a GNCC which I think is super cool and super appealing I will 100 thousand percent be back for another one and uh it's actually kind of fortunate that the two stroke hasn't been completely built yet because it kind of makes me want to take a new direction with that and maybe turn that into more of like a, an off-road racing bike maybe i get some softer suspension put an oversized tank on it and do some more off-road races it's definitely something i i would like to do next year um, i'm kind of bummed that this season is over like iron man was the last round in the series kind of unfortunate because it'd be really fun to do some more but yeah about the race absolutely gnarly I'm super glad that I have had the anti-gravity battery because I was not expecting like I knew a lot of people start these things at once but um, in typical fashion I like to get up to the gate last and I didn't realize that it's just first come first serve at the starting gate like whoever shows up first you get to pick where you start so I rolled up and pulled out onto the start gate and I saw like almost a hundred people lined up across this thing and I was like oh my god I made a mistake <laughs> so I thought the start was going to be terrible but my bike fired right up and I think I was probably like 10th going into the first turn or something like that so that definitely made my life easy I was right behind Caleb Russell and Zach Osborne which was really fun so got to ride with those guys a little bit and uh, first lap was brutal man it hasn't rained in quite some time so there were just these big silt berms that looked beautiful like it looked like something that I would see on a sand track near me and so being in the moto mindset on the first lap I was just sending it into these things to try and pass people and they were just like it was like going into a snow berm your front end just disappeared like three feet into it and then my front end would finally catch and uh, shoot me straight over the bars so I probably did that not not even lying seven or eight times on the first lap I was laying on the ground you can ask the people who were around me at the time because I kept crashing people would go by me and I would pass them and then I would crash again so whoever the four dudes who were around me they were probably like what is this idiot doing out there but finally figured it out after the first lap not to trust the uh, sand berms and after that it was a blast I didn't crash again 
Um, worked my way up into like, I think I was seventh in my group, which was the open A class. Um, Caleb Russell won it. I think Zach Osborne was up there too. I think I got seventh. And then I think that put me like 13th or 14th overall out of like 800 people. So maybe woods riding was what we were made for all along, but yeah, it was a blast. I was surprised at how it wasn't um, as physically taxing as I was expecting. Like I'm definitely not as sore now as I am after a pro national, but my hands are absolutely destroyed. Like I've never gotten a blister at the base of my index finger before. So it was wild, like the blisters formed midway through the moto and then they were already ripped off and just bleeding by the time I got off the track. So it's it's definitely different, um, different muscles are sore, like my MCLs and my knees, like the insides of my knees from just squeezing, going through rocks and rivers and stuff like that are sore. So it's completely different. Definitely glad I decided to do the two hour and not the three hour pro race. Um, in all fairness, after the Ironman Pro National like two and a half months ago, I've probably ridden two or three times since then. So definitely not in race shape. I think it would be fun to do another one next year after uh, getting a lot of preparation in, maybe going out in like the pro group or whatever. But I definitely did not belong in the pro group this weekend. So it was just really cool, man. It felt much more like a family experience and uh, just super grassroots. It was really cool. Even just being on the track and like, having everyone just right at the edge of the fence, like they could honestly touch you as you're going by. And to be honest, one of the hill climbs was really gnarly and I, I tagged the back end of some guy and I started to roll backwards down it and 30 people just came running out of the woods, grabbed my fork tubes and started pulling me up the hill. And I was like, dude, this is wild. Like so different from a pro national. So nah, just really cool. Um, you guys have been telling me to do woods racing for a while now and I finally get it. You know, I had a bad first experience, like I said, but now after doing Ironman, like I get it. And on top of that, everyone said the track conditions were terrible just because it had been so long since it rained, just dust was everywhere. So if that's what everyone considers a bad race, I can't wait to come back out next year and do what they consider a good race. So wanna give a massive thank you to DB Concepts for snagging some footage for me. Obviously, like I said, the chest cam broke off and uh, my dad, Paul, was actually Actually, he was so worried about getting the pit stops right, like being at the station when I pulled off to refuel and stuff like that, that he didn't really travel around and get too much footage. So it's really huge. Um, DB Concepts actually made the vlog basically. Like without him, we would have had zero riding footage. So shout out DB Concepts. Um, at the next one, I'll secure the chest cam a little bit more and get some better footage. But until then, hope you guys enjoyed my very first GNCC. Definitely will be back for more. And uh, yeah, you guys will have to tell me which one you want to see me at next. Maybe if there's some hair scrambles still this fall or even this winter down south, I would love to do it. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for tuning in. We will catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys.